Hello everyone, welcome to Cyberwar and to another episode of Pack Bounty Money. This is episode 5. Last week we had episode, episode 4 for uh, two weeks of uh, disclosures. And now we're back on track with one episode per week. And today we are looking for everything until this one. That was disclosed eight days ago, adding analyst to username. So we have one, two, three bugs which have been disclosed in the past week on activity on Hacker One, and they are worth more than $500. So let's begin. As usually, we are also writing a post. This is the, the WordPress uh, dashboard for who's not familiar with it. For example, we have this disclosure for $500 for a CSRF. Seems pretty straightforward. So basically, they tell you what the code should be. Okay, and that's that defeats the purpose. All right, let's add it. It's still five hundred to um dollars. So now I'm editing the HTML code of the post. is a vulnerability from the internet bug bounty for eight thousand dollars wow okay so this affects the kubernetes so this um, developer discovered the bug and somehow it got on bug bounty and he got paid but first he worked with the team very beautiful uh, example of uh, how uh, hard work pays off sometimes well maybe not the value of the like the hours he put in for this are probably worth more, but whatever. It's just uh, nice to have. And as I said before, this is your thing to look into software. Uh, the Internet Bug Bounty program on Hacker One is for you. So yeah, let's uh, let's add this also. I can't tell you much more about it. I'm not uh, into that, but um, it's an issue with the tokens. Okay. Thank you. Weak <laughs> from this point of view, not many disclosures, but uh, it's a uh, slow week. You no, know, it's after the holidays and okay. So th this guy found uh, cross-site scripting in um, um, Reddit, and he got five thousand dollars for it. Very nice. You can look at the details. Um, one thing that you are probably aware, like people, but uh, or not most people. Most people who are watching these uh, videos, um, you can intercept things with the. Um, 
with the proxy with burp and you change it and um, like even if they have filters on the client side or whatever you you, you can add the you can inject the javascript in the um, in this case in a json in the browser i'm sorry in the proxy and then you basically bypass one level of protection if it's in the client side or whatever so yeah like the api doesn't validate it happens only on the client side so you can forge it and then it's stored so it's stored the xss that makes it also more expensive or more rewarding it's a very good example this one um all right normally this is it we would close it here but um, it's pretty small as an episode let's have a look at the at the not non-disclosed uh, bounties because you can also see on activity everything that's happening just you don't see the titles but you see the money like x videos github it's paying coinspot uber marriott nice paypal okay it was payday at paypal that's all only one day TikTok, okay. So yeah, some of them will be disclosed, but some of them will never be disclosed. That's life. All right. So as you can see, it's a lot of activity on Hacker One. Don't be disappointed by the only by the, the three bugs that we have here. Uh, or crowd stream, sorry, crowd stream, yeah. So, background also has one, but um, yeah, so they show the submissions, like everything that's happening. Facebook, for example, pay 2000 to this guy. Dell, DocuSign. Oh, DocuSign has a program? Okay. Nice. I use them for my uh, non disclosure agreements. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. So, yeah, CrowdStream, is it my impression or the improved by the fact that they show? So now they have the version that hacker one has where they show what's happening who uh, like who gets what just they they don't tell the bug but they tell give away more than hacker one they tell you the scope the targets within the scope so yeah that's nice Last one for you. And now let's go to disclose reports. Okay. Looks like finally we have something here. So we are looking at the older reports till the 14th. That's in the past week. So not too many, but we have one. And why did I see something here? I thought I saw a disclosure, but no.
uh, for example this one ah no it's just the reward but you it's not disclosed okay wow okay so we have an improvement we we, we can see the background uh, activity which is great but on the disclosure side it's still weak anyway let's see this very nice bug what's happening wow that's funny so basically they have a demo program and the points were being added to the leaderboards so you could become the first in your country Okay. That's excellent. That's just amazing. Okay. Wow. Wow. All right then. Okay, that's a very good bug. And I think it's a bug we can try on all the programs if they offer this. But anyway, what is this? Ah, okay, vulnerability disclosure program. Okay. Are you guys familiar with this site? Fire Bounty? No. Basically, it finds all the um, programs which have like vulnerability disclosure or uh, hall of fame or uh, bug bounty it finds them on the platforms or through their security.txt uh, file so um, yeah if you're looking for targets uh, not satisfied with your platform for whatever reason you can uh, have a look and uh, just a reminder it's uh, to have integrity also where you can like register and uh, <clears throat> hack you have Yes, we hack. I have accounts here also. Uh, I think they also have a activity, maybe. Yeah. Let's see. But again, they only tell you who did what. Not uh, not disclosing anything, and only for today. So, I'm not sure how. Um, you also have your Kosha. You want to find another vulnerability, another bug bounty platform. This one is also French. I think also, yes, we hack is French. I'm not certain, but certainly looks French. Um, yeah, so no 
Okay. So apparently there are like tests to get in. Okay. And another one it's CNAC red team where you also need to be selected to be part of it. And of course, you can you can um, register here. I haven't done this. I've heard a lot of good things. Uh, yeah, you should uh, you should give it a try. All right, everyone. So this is it for today. As I said, not the not the longest episode, but uh, you know that's how it was the week. Maybe we will get uh, luckier next time. Uh, try to register to all, for all these platforms. Tell me how you do, and also apply for Cinac. See you in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.